our last episode. And I want to bring in my sidekick, Kaylee. Co-host. Co-host Kaylee. <laughs> yeah, sidekick. several Polly is watching so we got a lot of people watching so what we want to do again is throughout the program I want to read your comments and we're even going to take a vote and uh, decide on what we're going to do as far as your promotion everybody vote yes all right so, <laughs> all right, so all of you can be ready and let us know what's going on okay it's fixed. so uh, it's want fixed. to mention to all of you that we got a great program tonight uh, we've got some special things going on and uh, we got with the end of our program for the season. We're looking forward to it. So before we do that, how are you doing now? I'm doing well. It's been a little crazy this week, but everything's a little crazy. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, people are already voting. Voting there, Kaylee. All right. All right. So everything's good. So you're going, going, week, going well? Your week is? Yes. Um, we're moving into our rental Saturday. But oh, we have, okay. we've been slowly moving things. So by Saturday, we'll just have like beds. And now, by stuff. we, you're meaning you and your mom and dad and Josh. Yes. Because you know, we is about to change in your vocabulary. When you say yeah. we, it's about to change. So yeah. we want to make sure well, who, I mean, who we were. <laughs> <laughs> well, some of my stuff's at Keith's already. The stuff that like, I oh, will use okay. is just in the box in the room. But oh, um, okay. like all the things that I do use, like my clothes and stuff, I like, can sort of move it over. Oh, okay. So, all right. Well, very good. So things are going well for you then, huh? Yeah. It's, right. it's changed, but. Yeah, well, things will start speeding up for you here pretty quickly. Yeah. But anyway, we do have a good program for you tonight. Looking forward to some uh, good things. We got uh, a special uh, person coming that we videoed today. You had you, we didn't get have you on yeah. to do that because you were at work. But uh, we've got Cadet Joseph Kelly will be with us tonight on the Zoom. Really looking forward to y'all seeing that he's doing well and uh, had him on. And then John's going to be coming on. A little bit later uh, on the program. So, uh, one thing I do want to bring up: we talk about this marriage thing. Uh, Sunday morning, uh, now Keith probably is not going to be happy with me mentioning this. Like okay, <laughs> is that Sunday morning? I was standing in the back, and this was before the uh, morning first service, and the group was rehearsing. And as usual, Kaylee hadn't made it yet. I was like five minutes late. So. <laughs> Anyway, but what happened was, I was sitting in the back, Carrie was back there, and, and a couple of us, and we heard Keith going, well, I'm telling you, that's going to change. When we get married, that girl's going to be on time. Oh, we all just started laughing, and then he just kept going from there, talking about, and I looked at Randy, and I remember Randy, I looked at Randy and said, you know, the only guys that can truly say that, and Randy looked at me and said, Apparently those are the guys that aren't married. I said, exactly. I said, we'll see when all that changes. <laughs> well, so what do you think about that? <laughs> so I, I told my mom about that, and she laughed, and I was like, you know, it's like when people, like, if I were just saying, my kid will never do that. My yeah. kid's going to be an angel. And then you have kids, and, like, it's not what, what you expected. I feel like it's going to be like that. And it's going to be like Josh. And he was tired of me being late. So he, we both drive separately to church because he hates waiting for me. <laughs> but you mean you're not going to have Keith just going to whip you into shape and get you to church and do everything, right? He hasn't done it by now. So I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> oh, anyway, we just wanted to bring that up because it was so funny. And I couldn't, I, 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 when Kaylee walked in, the first thing I did was go to her and said, oh man, you got to listen to what you Keith You ratted him out. I did, man. It was so funny. I thought, Oh, how little he knows. Well, yeah, I was like, oh, Keith. 
Sweet key. <laughs> yeah. Sweet, na- sweet, sweet, naive. I'm like, you key. chose this life, buddy. That's right. Oh, how things change when we get married. How we get, wow. Anyway, uh, again, it, it was fun to, to, to visit with her about that, let her know what Keith had mentioned. So anyway, but we do have a, a great program. Like I said, yes. one of the things with it being our last hmm. show of the season, season one is over basically after tonight. Uh, I think we've done 20, 23 shows, something like that. Mm-hmm. John, do you remember how many we did? Was it about 20 uh, something? I, I think so. It, it, it's, it's, a, it's been quite a few. Yeah, so we jumped from thinking we're going to do four to doing 20 something. <laughs> and so uh, what we wanted to do tonight, since it is our last one, uh, we wanted to uh, let you see kind of how we've developed over the season. And so uh, Randy did a, a montage of our, of our season. And so we hope you'll enjoy this. We wanted to play this tonight and let you see how things went from the very beginning to when we brought in Kaylee until tonight. So we've had a great run. It's been a lot of fun. So, uh, folks, we want to thank you uh, for staying faithful to us, even through some of our mishaps and ups and downs, technical difficulties. (laughs) Uh, But you were faithful to watch, and we hope you enjoyed it. All we wanted to do this whole time was, with all the stuff that was going on, to have a little fun. We didn't want heavy stuff. We just wanted to enjoy it. So what we've done is Randy's developed this montage. So, folks, John, let's go ahead and let's show that. And I hope you'll enjoy this, folks. Well, hi, everybody. Uh, I want to welcome you to our first ever Facebook Live here at First Baptist West. being with you all and I'm thinking what will it be like when I finally get to have all of y'all in church on a Sunday morning Go. 
Pizza. Pizza. There you go. <laughs> we passed the test. Actually, yeah. no, Kaylee. Yeah. Actually, Kaylee cheated a while ago when we were working on this, so she already knew that word, so we couldn't do it. So we thought we'd impress y'all. All right. <laughs> so tired of me. And they, they want to see somebody new. Kaylee, you're so funny. You're so charming. You're, you're just so delightful. And people will just love you. And I just want people to watch it. Please, Kaylee, please, please, please be on my I show. I guess I can help you out. Oh, really? Yes. Really? Only if I'm your coach. Co-host, I will call you co-host. I will never refer to you just as my sidekick, ever. You, you will be my co-host. It'll be the show with Harold Gacious and Katie Kors and whatever. Please, Katie, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's my pleasure. All right, thank you. Harold, I have this idea. Okay. You've been doing the live stream for so long, right. and you should have a co-host. And I think I would what? be perfect for the idea Wait, because I'm so funny. You, I, I should have a what? A co-host. Co-host. Yes. Why? Because, I mean, you've been doing it so long, it would take some weight off of you. And, I mean, I could help you out. I could ask you some questions. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure, Katie. Let me kind of think about maybe a way I could get you on. And please, maybe, please, 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 please. Okay, well, maybe as, as, as a sidekick, we'll, we'll see. Or, we'll see. Or a co-host. Yeah, we'll see. Please. Uh, okay. Please, we'll, we'll, please, 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 okay. please. Okay, yes, yes. <laughs> All right, wow. so you said, wow, huh? <laughs> Both, you don't realize how much we've done until we actually see it and that wasn't all of it so uh we hope you enjoyed looking back and it was a lot of fun and uh kaylee's added a lot to our program <laughs> and, uh so we hope that you've enjoyed it but it's been a, a, a again a good good first season yes. we've learned a lot uh john has been amazing getting this thing going with us and it seems like i i don't know that I get any better. You gotten better. John gotten better. But I'm, I'm still just me. So there you have a go. better haircut. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know that was one thing. Wow. That COVID man. That really was rough on me. Wasn't I it? I feel like that was our reflection on COVID. <laughs> yeah. Because wow. my bangs. You didn't have a haircut. So. Yes. Wow. So yeah. I. I, I tough. Tough summer, man. I had a <laughs> yeah. Yeah. John had the goatee stuff going. So. Oh, we. How much we've changed over the six know. months, eh, man. But anyway, again, it's been a great, great first season. We've enjoyed it. And so uh, we're just going to continue on with our show. So, Kaylee, tell everybody what we have coming up next. Next is the three things that you need to know. All right. about the Oklahoma Baptist. Um, okay. Start back with it, sorry. Oh, okay. So okay, I'm going to start over again because people say you can't hear. All right, the three things you need to know. Are, are we good now? Yeah, All right, okay. three things you need to know. First one, we'll start over here. Uh, take two. Take all right, that's what live television's <laughs> all about. Yeah, there you go. There you go. All right, take two. All right, 
Number one, next week, on Sunday the 6th, we'll have a week of prayer for the Oklahoma Missions, which is the Edna McMillan offering. Now, this offering will be taken from starting Sunday all the way through on the 27th. Uh, that will be our highlight focus on it. But the Oklahoma Missions offering goes to support all the things that we do in Oklahoma as far as missions. It does the disaster, blah, 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 the disaster relief and everything else that we have is a big part of that. Baptist Children's Home all the things that we do in Oklahoma. So please be in prayer. And, and on Sunday morning, all of you will receive one of these uh, in your bulletin. Now, if you're not able to be here, uh, we'll post this online as well so you'll be able to pick one of these up. And starting Sunday, uh, on Monday, on the, on the uh, se uh, 7th, you will be able to give even on the e-giving. Linda will have that ready for you. So that's number one. Number two, the second thing that we have is choir rehearsals. As Patrick mentioned Sunday, uh, we're going to have a choir uh, start back on the uh, 13th at 4 o'clock. So we want to encourage all of you that if you were a part of our choir, we want you to come be a part of it. If you've never been a part of our choir, then we want you to come and, and introduce yourself to uh, the choir here at First Baptist West. And we're looking forward to having that start back up. Now, one of the things that Patrick mentioned Sunday is that we're not going to be uh, back up in the choir loft. We're going to be able to spread out in the uh, in the worship center a little bit, so that way you won't be able to uh, uh, have that tight contact. So uh, please come and be a part of that. Looking forward to getting choir started back up because it's time, believe it or not, to start looking at our uh, Christmas stuff. So I know it's kind of uh, odd to think about that, but that's where we're headed with that. So choir uh, rehearsal starting back on Sunday the 13th at 4 o'clock. That's number two. Number three. Man, we're excited because th this is the last show that we have on Wednesday nights, but we're going to now pick it up on next Wednesday on September the 9th. We're going to be having our Wednesday night programs are starting back up. The first thing that we're going to start up with is our meals that we have here at First Baptist West. Those, those meals start at 5.30 and they run until 6.15. And what we have is the cost is $4 for adults and, and students. Uh, children is $2.50. Now, the maximum that we charge for any family is $16. So if you have a large family, man, don't, don't worry about it. We want you to come and be a part of that. Now, one of the things that we do have is on Sunday mornings, you'll be able to pick one of these up and uh, reserve the spot so we'll know how many are coming. Uh, or call the office either way and let us know, and that's the cost of, of the meal. But we're starting our meals back up Wednesday, and I know a lot of people are really excited about that. On the next part of that is with our Awana. Our Awana is also starting back up, and that's going to be from 6.30 <laughs> until 8 o'clock. So all of our Awana programs are going to kick off. Now, what we're going to be able to do is that's going to be in person, but also it's going to be through, uh, through uh, our uh, virtual as well. So Awana will be starting at 6.30. Now you'll be able to uh, go online to register. Please go to our webpage and register for that. Uh, we'll also be able to uh, pay for all of your, anything that you order. If you want books, shirts, backpacks, anything, or bags, anything that you want, that will also be available. So for many of you who are maybe saying, well, look, I can't really go and be a part of that there at the church, we are doing it virtually. And so what will happen is at 6.30 when we do our opening ceremony uh, with all the things that are going on, we will uh, do that live on Facebook Live. And so you'll be able to watch that and be a part of the things that we have going on. And so we want you to join in with us there. Then at the end of the night, we'll also be doing the awards and the closing ceremony part of that. So you will actually have your kids get to be a part of those things. And if you finish something, if your child finishes something throughout the, that night, then you'll get a hold of us and we'll give out the awards for them even here. And then we'll get those back to you. So Awana, we're real excited. Now, we also need uh, help. So anybody that would like to be a part of our Awana program as an adult, uh, please let us know so that we'll be able to uh, get, get enough people here to make this program really work well. So Awana is also starting next week. Number three on that is Youth Recharge. Our youth are starting up their Wednesday night worship. Now, John's going to be coming on here in just a little bit to talk about what's going to be going on with the recharge. So to all of our students, we want to encourage you to come and be a part of our Wednesday nights, starting at 630 with the recharge. 
And then the, the fourth thing on the Wednesday night is our Bible studies. We have men's and women's Bible studies that will be going on. Uh, you heard Morgan last week come on and talk about the things that are going on with the women's Bible study with, uh, called Freedom. So we would like to invite all of our men and women come and join in with our Bible studies. Again, all of this kicks off next Wednesday night. Uh, dinner is at 5.30 to 6.15, and then we'll move on from uh, 6.30 to 8 o'clock with our Bible studies. So folks, those are the three things that you should know, and we're, we hope that you'll be a part of all of those things coming up very soon. So we thank you for that. So Kenny, that wraps up our three things you should know. So here we are and uh, getting ready to move into something else. That's called, but keep us busy now, huh? Keeping us busy. Yeah, and one of the things that one of the things that people have, I wish people could be here to see what I have to stay focused on while things are going on all around me here. <laughs> uh, we had people moving and Katie's throwing stuff, trying to get the attention. So I, I, I didn't do a thing. Yeah, it's, it's just. It's really fun to be here on the set. Y'all should come and watch this, but I almost cracked up <laughs> laughing a couple of times, but I think I did well. So I like if it, I sat over here making faces at I, you. I don't even look, man. Nobody I'm would to stay know. Focused. Yeah, I'm trying to stay focused. But anyway, those are three things. We're real excited because things are starting to get back a little bit of normal now. All right? So good. So exciting. Good. Well, what we have next is we want to go right into our, our interview with uh, Cadet Kelly. And uh, he, he was uh, doing well, and we wanted you to check it. We wanted to all check in with him, let you kind of see what's going on. And, and I know you're a little disappointed you didn't get to be part of that interview, but his tight schedule, we had just a short amount of time, and we got him in here. So, uh, John, let's go ahead, and we hope you'll enjoy uh, getting to see a check in on Joseph just a little bit. So, John, let's get that interview started. Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome back to our program. And tonight we have a very special uh, guest for you as we wrap up our season here. Uh, we have Joseph Kelly that is going to be coming to us live from West Point Academy. And so I uh, want to get right into visiting with him. Joseph, how are you doing, man? I'm doing very good. How are you? Oh, <laughs> doing well. Really good to get to see you and, and talk yes, to sir. you a little bit and see how things are going for you. I'm, I'm glad you could schedule us in. I guess probably pretty Today, uh... Uh, Add some more time today, so it's kind of a good day. Oh, okay, very good, out. very good. Well, as most people already know, then of course this is live for you and I, but it's not live for them because we had to record uh, to sure. get you on when we could. But uh, mm -hmm. so glad you could see. This is our la actual last program uh, really? for wow. us for the season. We're wrapping things up tonight, and we thought, man, what a better way to wrap things up than to have Joseph Kelly from West Point join us. So. This is actually your second time on the show, isn't it? That's true. I'm kind of like a veteran, and it's, yeah. uh, it's an honor to get to finish it off. Well, boy, thank you. Thank you. It's an honor. honor to get to talk to you. So how are you, man? I'm doing good. Uh, the first month, first few weeks were pretty difficult, but um, I think I'm adjusted now, just trying to learn the ins and outs, all the rules, Oh man. and school on top of that. Yeah, a lot of work, a lot of work. I know Kaylee's going to be really upset because, you know, she's my sidekick now. I don't know if you've gotten to see any of those. Yeah, but I've seen a few of she, those. She keeps telling me she's my co-host. We haven't gotten to that level yet. But Maybe she, next so she's going to be bothered that she didn't get to be here to uh, to visit with you because, of course, she's at work, and she'll be here later on this evening for our actual program. But I know she's going to be bothered that she doesn't get to see you. So. What what title do you have there at West Point now? What, what, what are you called when someone walks up to you? What do they say? Who do they call you? Well, if they're kind, they'll just say <laughs> Cadet Kelly. Cadet. Maybe even just Kelly. Uh, my peers, the ones who are in my same grade, they just call me like Joe or oh. something like that. But um, if they're a little, I guess, more by the book, they'll call me Cadet Private or something like that. Cadet but, Private? Yes, private. That's our technical like rank. Oh, okay. But, uh, we don't really refer to ourselves like that because it's not cool, but uh, that's what somebody else might say. So the cool way you you present yourself is what? Cadet Kelly? Cadet Kelly. Oh, okay. All right. Very good. Very good. So how are things there at West Point? How, how are things going for you? Things are going pretty good. I haven't gotten in uh, so much trouble as I could, so that's good. <laughs> well, we'll um, probably you won't do that. Yes, I hope not. <laughs> uh, sometimes things get crazy. Uh, we try and have fun when we can. 
Uh, it's really hard with this COVID situation because it's a kind of a new experience for everybody. Right. Some of our classes have been virtual, so we don't get to go out of our rooms all the time. Always okay. wearing masks, pretty much. And we have like fewer privileges, such as like we have to stay on post like the whole time. Okay. Sometimes we're given the ability to leave if you get like a privilege or something, but they took right. that away. Um, also for us, the plebes, we can't wear civilian clothes like ever. So it's either this that I'm wearing now. We have a different uniform, kind of like a dress uniform and then PTs. So not a lot so, of very variation. So, so what did you, what, 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 what did you say just a few moments ago when you re referred to yourselves? Plebes. Plebes? Plebes. Oh, yes. okay. <laughs> So do they call you that quite often? Yeah, or is that so just what you guys Freshmen, do? yeah, freshmen are called plebes. Oh, okay. So it's like the lowest of the low. <laughs> and then uh, like sophomores, they're called yearlings. Uh -huh. but we call them yucks. <laughs> and then juniors are cows, like the cows? animal. They get okay. a cow. And then uh, seniors are firsties. Well, there you go. So to be a first year, you're like living the dream, kind of. <laughs> so your dreams, right now, your nightmare that will turn into a dream later, right? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> well, that's what I was going to ask you about, how COVID is affecting everything there on your, on your campus and or on post, I guess you refer mm -hmm. to it as post now. So, well, so yeah, the, it's definitely obvious that we're living in a different time. Uh, we're always wearing masks. Uh, we mm -hmm. get in trouble for not... Um, the way they organize things are differently. They try and keep people in like their own groups as much as possible. Right. We get tested randomly. So uh, like once a week, they're gonna grab a few people and test them. Um, some of like our activities here are limited because we're not really supposed to be around each other a whole lot. Uh, as you know, they're not letting people come in or come out unless they're like mandatory, like teachers or just different staff people. Right. Right. Well, I know one of the effects that it's had is I know a lot of people from our state <clears throat> were really looking forward. Not not me. No. I wasn't going to get to go. But of course, yeah. this is the year that OU was coming up there to play to play Army. And so yeah, uh, I know been everybody's a really looking big forward. Deal. Huh? That would have been a big deal. Yeah, I know a lot of our people, uh, even people I know that have season tickets here, man, they, they were all set, man. That was going to be a big game for them to get to go watch and be at West Point. Uh, for it. So I know that's affected it in some way. So well, I, I hope you're doing okay. I see, I see a guy in the background. Is that your roommate? Yeah, this is my roommate. Uh, he's doing his own thing, so I won't. But yeah, yeah, yeah. don't bug him. I just I just saw somebody back there. Yeah, so so uh, I have two roommates. Uh, most of us have two roommates. Uh, one of my roommates plays football, actually. Oh, really? He does. And then He's actually, um, he spent a few years in college before he came here. Oh, so. okay. Okay, well, good. So uh, at West Point, kind of, if, if you don't mind, I know many people would be thinking, of, uh, wondering about this. Run us through a typical day at West Point for yeah. Cadet Kelly. That's a good question. And I, like, I had that same question probably before I came here. So on a weekday, um, we'd have formation for breakfast around 7 and breakfast would go i guess from like 7 to seven thirty. most classes would start at 8 so you know in like civilian colleges people complain about having 8 a.m classes but here that's pretty typical uh, my first class on my earliest day doesn't start until like 9 20 so i'm kind of lucky in that aspect and then we you only have four classes a day okay so like there's two classes and then a lunch period and then two more classes uh, so the school day would usually be over by four. Then I'd say from like four to six, you can kind of do whatever you want. You're kind of free then. Uh, if you're on like a club sport or a team, like football, for instance, you would practice during that time. Okay. So they don't have a whole lot of break. Usually dinner will be from like six to eight. And then from dinner to the rest of the day, you're supposed to be studying. So um, you kind of spend a lot of time studying or taking a nap uh, <laughs> before dinner, I guess. But uh, 
I haven't done that yet. I haven't taken a nap. You haven't been napping, huh? No. And that is that pretty typical of every day? For the weekdays, yes. Some days are different. Like today, for example, is different. Basically, just pushed it forward about an hour. We had formation for breakfast at 5.40. And uh, first class was like 6.30. So but today was a bit different. Yeah. So you, this may be your day for a nap, huh? Probably, because I have plenty of time now after this, I guess. Okay. And weekends are a bit nicer. Sundays are the least organized, so you have the most freedom on Sunday. Right. And Saturdays, it just depends. On some Saturdays, you have the whole day pretty much doing nothing. Um, on other Saturdays, you have a schedule that you have to follow. Do you but, guys have PT about every day? Do you all have stuff like that? Not group PT. Okay. Uh, as you know, we have to take a, like a PT test regularly. Right. So as long as you do well enough to pass it, you aren't really forced to do PT. They kind of expect you to do it on your own. Oh, ooh. So the final exam is the, the tell-all whether you've been, been doing it or not, right? Yes. <laughs> so so what do you do on, on the weekends? I mean, if, since you can't leave folks very much. Yes. Well, last Saturday, we didn't have anything, so I had to sleep in um, and do homework, I guess. That's a big thing, trying to uh, get ahead on homework. Uh, uh -huh. When it comes to nighttime, we might just maybe get food and watch a movie with uh, different, different cadets in our area. Right. Um, don't really do a whole lot if you don't have anything to do, especially since we can't leave, really. We could always walk around the base and the post, I guess. And, but I mean, it's a lot of hills here. So the <laughs> further you go, the more hills you have to walk up and down. Right, right. So, so how, how do you feel you've adapted to all that? Um, I know it's only been three weeks, but. Sure. Well, I guess waking up got easier in the morning. <laughs> like the first time I got woken up really early, uh, I was not prepared for that. But thankfully now we get to sleep a little bit later, just a little bit. Right. Um, I guess not really getting to do what you want to do exactly. You have to do what someone else tells you to do. And you don't really have a lot of variation in uh, your choices. Right, right. Like obviously I couldn't choose whether or not to have a class at eight or not. Oh, uh, your classes were chosen for you? Yep. Oh, okay. So, um, and also like now I don't have a whole lot of responsibility just for myself, but uh, I have a lot more to keep up with than I did a few months ago. <laughs> Mama's not around, huh? Nope. <laughs> Big change right there. So let me ask you, did, you know, you, you kind of went into this, I know you had some expectations of what West Point was going to be like. Uh, after you've been there a couple of weeks, uh, did it meet your expectations? Was it different than what you pictured it being? How, how, how does that go? Uh, some parts exceeded my expectations and other parts I was a bit surprised about. Uh -huh. um, but it's definitely a great place. Uh, I think I didn't expect it to be as challenging. Right. So uh, I kind of came in thinking it wasn't going to be too bad and it was too bad. So <laughs> I had to um, kind of recalibrate my mind and get set uh, I do a little more, more work than I expected and uh -huh. uh, I think that just one of the new things hard things for me to follow was uh, right. like, to be a follower not being a leader anymore like in high school you may right. be told to be a leader or like in the youth group even right but here there's a uh, very few times where I'm actually a leader at least right. now as a plebe but um uh, I can see a lot of great things from what they have us do, just by looking at the older people or the grads who talk to us. Well, good. Well, I'm glad it's going every way that you wanted it to go and, and meeting everything that you wanted it to do. So uh, what, what about coming home? When, when, when do you sense that the next time you get to be back in the big t town of Lawton? Yep. Uh, a few weeks ago, they were telling us, probably just look to Christmas. That's most likely when we're going to come home. So right. Christmas is pretty much a guarantee. 
and recently they were talking about Thanksgiving. So it's a possibility. It's not completely out yet, but okay. um, I think people are hopeful for Thanksgiving. Right. Uh, granted, that's still like, what uh, a few months away. Right. But uh, I feel like maybe Thanksgiving might happen. Uh, I'm hopeful. <laughs> it kind of for it. Kind of gives you something to hope for, right? <laughs> it does. I mean, thankfully, Thanksgiving's not too far from Christmas, anyways. Right. But it would still be nice, obviously, to get to go back. I think everybody how, would appreciate that. How often do you get to talk to your family? Uh, I get to talk to them often enough. There are some nights where uh, I'm just super busy. Right. But uh, I mean, I don't really have a whole lot of people who I'd call. So uh, <laughs> I try to make it kind of a priority. So a few times a week, I'd say. Okay, good, good. Well, I know for your mom, that, that means the world. And for your dad, because uh, I know when my daughters first went away, and even now, with Sherry being on the other side of the, the earth, man, it it's good to sometimes get to see and hear from her. So I'm glad you're getting to do that. So mm -hmm. is there, uh, as we get ready to wrap up here, again, appreciate you uh, taking some of your time, because I know you're busy to be here visiting with me. Uh, are, are there anything, Joseph, that we could that we as a church and I as your pastor could pray for you over in any specific things? Well, for me specifically, um, you just pray for, um, I put this, I just, this one, my walk with God, I guess. Uh -huh. So obviously it's been a big transition being here and um, it hasn't exactly translated evenly from a few months ago to now. Right. It's still hard to get the adjustment, find time to do things. So mm -hmm. I guess that's one. Also, if you can just pray for, um, for us the cadets and we can continue not to get sick because if we got sick with COVID, that would just mess everything up. Right. Um, and then obviously school. So just we can be dedicated, study. I guess right. those would just be some big ones. Okay. Well, very good. Well, we'll, we'll definitely be praying for you. Hey, we just want you to know, man, we're, we're so proud of you and it's exciting to get to actually see you and know that you're doing well and uh just know that if there's anything that we can possibly do man we want to help you in any way that we can uh so things are going well for you huh yes sir you're, you're happy about it excited to still be there and it's hard to say that i love it here but it's uh it's what i wanted so I, there you go there you go I, I think sometimes we get in those positions that it just because we wanted to be there and just because we're supposed to be there doesn't mean that we always love being there. You know what I'm saying? That's true. That's exactly what we say every day. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> hey, listen, man, I appreciate you joining us tonight. I didn't want to, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but uh, can I take a minute and pray over you before we close out? Oh, yes, please. Okay. Father, in Jesus name, we come to you. And we thank you for your love and grace and watch care. And God, I, I lift up Joseph to you. I thank you, God, that he's getting to live the dream that you placed on his heart by being at West Point. And God, I, I'm so proud of him. I know it took a lot of work uh, on his part. And God, it took a lot of leading on your part to get him there. Lord, I just pray that you would now bless him as he serves and, and he grows, uh, Lord, as you desire for him to grow. And Lord, as he's lifted up these requests, I, I do ask that you help him with his walk with you, that God... Uh, he's in a different situation. Um, things are are not as comparable to being able to walk with you as steadily and readily as, as it was before. But I pray, God, that you would continue to just show him uh, your grace and your mercy, God, as he would grow closer to you. And Lord, I pray for the cadets. I, I know with the sicknesses that are in, in the New York area, Lord, that you would just take care of those young men and women. And Lord, just keep keep those guys safe. And Lord, help them through this very difficult time. And with school, I pray that you would give him wisdom and God, you'd open his mind and let him be able to take them in the knowledge that Lord, that he's needing, that Lord, that we could be able to see him grow and advance to the next level of, of his education. And God, I pray for his family. I know Lord, that they are missing him. I know God, that you would, that they would love to just be able to be with him. But Lord, this is just, a time of season, Lord, that he's going to be away. And Lord, I even pray for PJ because I know, Lord, that he's uh, he's away from them for now. And that, God, you would just bless him as well. Bless the family. 
And we just, again, thank you for Joseph. I thank you for me getting to be his friend and his pastor and get to be a part of his life. And Lord, it's exciting tonight to talk to him. And I know our church uh, would echo this sentiment that God, we're proud of him and we're going to continue to pray for him and support him. And we'll give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Well, buddy, thanks a lot for joining us tonight. And folks, we That's hope that you me. will uh, have enjoyed visiting with Joseph. And uh, we'll, we'll get back to our Bible study now as we'll step into that segment. So uh, continue to join us and, and we'll finish up the show later on. But Bible study is up next. So we hope that you'll enjoy it. Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to our Bible study. And uh, of course, this is the final one for uh, this season. It's been a great time. I've really enjoyed uh, every Wednesday night that I can to be able to open up the Word and, and to share some quick thoughts with you as we've gone through our program. And I hope they've been beneficial to you. And I know that, again, it's been one of my favorite uh, parts of the program is to get to share God's Word with you. And what I wanted to do tonight as we wrap this up is to talk about the influence of a Christian, the influence of the church uh, in our society. You know, Jesus had a way of taking um, common ideas, common uh, things of the day, and bringing them out, biblical truths to it. And so uh, I want to share one with you that I know all of you know. And it's found in uh, Matthew chapter 5, verse uh, 13, where Jesus just basically calls, he says, you are the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? And so what we're looking at here today, basically, uh, all of you know that there are two common uh, uses of salt, two common principles. And one is it's to flavor food and it's to preserve the food. And so when we look at this, we, we look at the Christian, as Jesus said, you are the salt of the earth. And if the salt loses its saltiness, it's where, where will it be flavored then from there? How does the world get to be flavored? So what I want to look at tonight very quickly are three ideas about salt. The thing that I want you to understand, one is that salt is different than anything else as far as the food goes. In other words, salt maintains its flavor. So when you take salt and you mix it into whatever recipes you're doing or whatever food you're making or even whatever food is set before you, when you take salt, salt stays salt. Salt stays salty. In other words, it doesn't change to match, match the flavor of the food. As a matter of fact, the, the, the flavor is enhanced by the salt. And so when Jesus calls us the salt of, of the earth, he basically says, when you go into that, and Jesus said that, God, I pray that you don't take them out of this world, but I pray for, you that, I pray that for them that are left in this world, that we are to stay here, we are to make a difference. But we're not to change. We don't change to match society. That salt stays on the food and it's distinguished and it makes a difference. The Bible tells us in Romans 12 too, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So what that's saying is, once Christ enters into us, never lose who we are. So Christian, when we go out into this world, if we're going to be the salt of the earth, we can't blend in to the world. We can't become like the world. We've got to always be different. We shouldn't take on the flavors of the world. So what Jesus said, you're the salt of the earth. The salt stays salt. It adds flavor to whatever it touches. It doesn't change. The second thing is salt doesn't have to be made salty. In other words, when you take the compound of salt and you, you put it on your food, it doesn't have a reaction with the food to become salty. The salt is already salty when it gets on there. It's in itself salt. It's not, again, mixed in to stand out. It's already going to stand out. The salt, uh, to salt our surroundings, folks, you know what we need to do? We need to just be who we are. We don't need to have some great thing happen to us every time we walk in, out into society. If we'll spend time, as I talk to you every Sunday, if we'll spend time with the, in the Word of God through praying and, and reading and and letting God speak to us, and we prepare ourselves for the day. Man, when we go out into that world, we're already ready. We are who we are supposed to be. And we don't have to be made salty. We already are by the Holy Spirit of God working in us. Now, we grow as disciples. 
we grow in our knowledge of God and our, our closeness to God. But folks, we don't have to mix with the world to then be salty. We are already there. And the third one is salt prevents decomposition of the food. And that's what God has meant for this world is that we, are, we, we preserve this world. I, I say all the time, the world doesn't necessarily want the church. But my friends, listen to me. The world needs the church. The world doesn't always like everything that First Baptist West does, what we stand for, but our area needs First Baptist West because we are the preservative. We are what gives this saltiness. We, we help preserve our society. And can I tell you something? That's why Satan hates the church. That's exactly why he hates the church. Because the church stands for godly principles and, and we add meaning and we, we share hope and we, get, we give reasons for living. And Satan wants the church removed from that. He wants us to lose our saltiness because once we lose our saltiness, then the world has no flavor. The world has nothing, if you will, to keep it solid. The world doesn't have anything to keep it from decomposing. Our society will continue to decompose as the church gets more divisive in and of itself. When we spend less time with God, when we spend less time doing what God wants us to be, when we try to spend more time as a church trying to fit into society, the world will lose. The world will lose because of that. So listen to me. When Jesus said, you're the salt of the earth, and he goes on and says, but if its salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? How shall the earth be seasoned? How shall the earth be preserved? How, how, how can society maintain when we who are the salt don't, don't stay salt? So I want to encourage you, as we wrap things up for, for this season, it's been a great summer, and uh, hope that you've enjoyed this time. I want to encourage you, be the salt. Start tonight praying, God, encourage me, work in my spirit so that I can become strong, that, Lord, that I will be salty. And when I leave my, my house in the morning, God, wherever I go, I will add flavor and I will stand out and that I can help preserve this society of ours. Hey, we're about ready to get back to our, to our program. But thank you again for joining with me tonight. And I just want to lead you in prayer and I want to pray for you as Jesus also prayed for us. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you and we thank you for your love and your grace. Thank you, God, that you have made us to be the salt of this earth. And God, you have called us with a mission to go and to, to bring flavor. But Lord, not to fit in, but to stand out, to add to. And so, Father, I pray for every member of First Baptist West. I pray for every Christian that would be watching this program tonight. That, God, you would be able to just strengthen us, encourage us, and empower us. And, Father, if there's anyone that's watching this that doesn't know you as their Savior, that before this time is over, that, God, they will feel the need that you have put in them. And, Lord, they'll turn their lives over to you through receiving Jesus Christ as their Savior. God, I thank you for our church. I thank you for their willingness to allow us to do this every Wednesday night. I thank you for John and Randy and Kaylee and Carrie and everyone else, Lord, that has had a, a peace in these programs. Lord, might you just bless them. And Father, we do love you and we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, let's get back to our program, okay? All right, so we hope you enjoyed uh Visiting with Joseph just a little bit. It was a great. It was great to get to talk to him. And he's I'm a really little bummed, it. but oh, I'm you. glad to hear he's good, doing yeah, good. Yeah, he, he's doing really well. Uh, and then, of course, the Bible study. Want to encourage everyone to to stay in the Word of God and to grow and be the salt of the earth. That's what Jesus has called us to be. Amen. So, hey, real quick before we get bring John in, we were wanting to uh, uh, remind you that we're asking for your opinions on Kaylee. At the end of the show, we're going to announce. Our intentions with Kaylee coming from 
sidekick to co-host. So some of you have been making some comments and giving us your opinion. So if you haven't done that yet, go ahead over the next uh, 10 minutes or so. We're interested in what you're thinking about next season. The consensus of the last show for our season. Let us know. Make some comments. And I've had a lot of thumbs up, had people saying it's good, that she needs to be. And so I think so far, everyone's saying, oh, there's a big thumbs up from Will. So <laughs> Will gives us a big thumbs up. It's not, a while ago he had two little thumbs up, now he's giving us a big one. He wants to so, make sure he's heard. <laughs> that's right, that's right. So folks, keep keep letting us know what you're thinking. Give us some comments. Uh, okay, there they are. Boy, they're coming in strong now. So anyway, we'll, we'll announce that. But let's let's move on as we get ready to wrap up. We wanted to uh, bring John in. And John is going to step from behind the camera. He's going to come in and join us here in just a second when he gets everything set. And he's now <laughs> going to come on to this side of the camera. So John, welcome to the show yeah. on this side. <laughs> <laughs> Got to tell you, not a big fan of being on this side. <laughs> Yeah, John John said he would much rather be over there. The, one time when we talked about it, I even asked you, hey, John, if you ever feel like you want to come and be a part of this, you're more than welcome to take over. And yeah, that, that was his response yeah. right there. Yeah, not going to happen. So uh, anyway, John, how are you doing? Not too bad. Not too bad. I mean, I just got done. Uh, I just got back from coaching. So that's kind of why. You know, I'm dressed like this, but yeah. normally I try to dress a little more professionally. <laughs> well, we understand. <laughs> but being a former coach, yeah. I, I know how we how we are. So uh, anyway, so now you're teaching, right? School That's started right. And, and you're virtual teaching, I right? I am virtual teaching. Now. How's that going? It's, uh, it's interesting because, you know, you start thinking um, as an individual when all of this pandemic starts, when, you know, when we try to start up live streaming, even... Uh, back in December, you know, mm -hmm. and um, little by little, uh, you know, God was preparing me to take on the role of being a good virtual teacher to these students. Right. You know, He's given me the tools and the skill set through uh, through serving Him in the in the church. You know, right. and so I think a lot of times we neglect um, the outward benefits uh, of service. Right. You know, because it's not <laughs> just it's not just good for you because you're doing it because God called you to do it it's good for you because you know god blesses you not only you know uh, from the outside looking in but he also blesses you in what you do here you know right. uh, you gain you gain skills you know you you gain uh knowledge and techniques of stuff that you didn't know before right and so um i mean i, I gotta say i'm very blessed to to have gone through all the uh, all the ordeals to get the live stream going. All right. Well, I can say then, you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> because you. I remember the last time I had you, you and Randy were both on here, and yeah. I asked you, John, what kind of, kind of got you got started on this video stuff? And you said, your answer was, you made me. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. there you go. God yeah. knew what he was doing. Now, I had no idea. So yeah. it's not like I'm a prophet or anything. It's just yeah. God had a big plan. Yeah, so but you're doing well, and, and I'm glad school's going well for you. Mm -hmm. What we really wanted to do tonight was to talk, uh, because our Wednesday night's coming up, right. starting next week. That and is we're correct. real excited about that. Mm -hmm. uh, we talked. We had Carrie on talking about our Awana. We had uh, Morgan on talking about the women's Bible study and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so tonight, what I want to do is, the last few minutes is, have you talked to us about your Wednesday night with the students? Yeah, so awesome. what's going to be going on Wednesday night? So first Wednesday night back the 9th, we're going to meet for a movie night because um, I, I thought about jumping right in. But then um, yeah, I was thinking, man, I'm having a hard time with the transitions that I'm making as a virtual teacher. Right. I can't imagine what the transitions as a student would be. Um, and so I wanted to not only provide them you know, a spiritual relief, but just also a place where they don't have to worry about, you know, coming together as a group and, you know, doing all these due diligences and following these exactly. rules and, yeah. you know, and, and conforming to everything that, you know, that society had told them. So I wanted to kind of keep it nice and easy and then uh, I'll get announcements out. I'll get everything going. But uh, the, the Wednesday after, which is the 16th. That's when we start kicking off our worship services. And also, I wanted to give our worship band a, a break, too, as, <laughs> as we're transitioning, you know. And um, and I know Patrick's been kicking their butts lately, too. So. Kicking your butt, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah you, now that you're part of that praise team, yeah. you understand what they're going through. Another right? blessing, right? <laughs> yeah, there you go. See, we're just, God is preparing you for so much, yeah, and you had no idea when you said yes to this offer, yeah. what God was going to be able you to know, do with you. Should have read the fine print. There you go. <laughs> hey, you know how often I say that around? 
thing or two. I said, boy, that was that, that I should have I should have read it's that, that or so more. that gets yeah, everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, Kaylee understands about so you you are part of the praise team on Wednesday nights as yes, well, right? Yes. And so you and Keith do that and Josh and and sometimes the youth will Well it was the, the two Kelly boys too, but now we gotta now they're kind of tied doing. up and busy yeah. right into that now, aren't just they? Just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we got to figure out what to do with that. But yeah, exactly. So that starts actually in two weeks for the worship. Two right? weeks for the, the worship. Wednesday night, and we'll start at six thirty. At six thirty. Okay. Now, one one thing I wanted to ask about uh, for something you could tell to encourage the students to come and be a part of this. Yeah. What what would you say to encourage not just the students that are part of our church, but to bring their friends and, and yeah. other people. What, what can you do to help encourage that? Um, so today, uh, especially this school year, it, it's it's a much darker time than the other school years, you know? Yeah. And I think um, in darkness, there's only two, cho- two choices. You either get comfortable or you seek out light. Amen. You know? um, but the problem is the longer you wait in darkness, the more it hurts when you get exposed to that light. Yeah. And so uh, my encouragement to students is to, to seek out that light early and stay in that light throughout the entire school year. And, um, and the great thing about light is that it draws people to it. Right. You know? what, what part do you see the youth group having in that to encourage students to stay in that light? Um, I think that we have the unique position here at, at this church. We have so many different students from so many different backgrounds, from so many different schools, whether it's homeschool, you know, Epic, uh, and even the public schools around here, we have one from almost every major high school now, I yeah. think. So, um, you know, and, and I think that's that's God giving us a way to, to reach out into all of Lawton and Cash, mm-hmm. you know, in a way that we wouldn't have if we were just, you know, all Eisenhower or all Lawton High or all right. Cash, you right. know. Good. Um, and I believe that, you know, just as, God's called, you know, everyone to be a part of the body, be a part of the church. Um, where where students are right now, they're not only called to be a part of the body of Christ, they're called to be a, a part of a very specific part of the body of Christ, yeah, right. which is the youth ministry, because <clears throat> students are going to know what other students are going through better than any adult, better than I could ever, better than you could ever, right. even better than their parents could ever understand. And so, you know, this is this is the place to be uh, to seek refuge from from the world. This is the place to be to to recharge your soul, and this is the place to be to be surrounded by people who understand you and who love you. Amen. I should have wrote all that down as you're saying this is the place to be because that's what my series of really messages are. <laughs> well, I don't church, want to write all of your stuff for to you. To make church is the place to be. No, I. That sounded pretty good. Can you repeat that? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you can uh, you can play it back later. Yeah, right? <laughs> my, my series is just my ser- sermon series has just extended three more times because you said this is the place to be for. <laughs> Hang on, folks. No, very good, very good. So as we get ready to start Wednesday night, we're real excited and we want to encourage our our students. Please come and be a part of that because, as you said, this is the place. Mm-hmm. This is the place that hopefully we can recharge and be ready because as as my Bible study today, tonight was, we're the salt and those students are just as much salt in their schools as we are in our workplace. Absolutely. And so we want to encourage our students to do that. So as as we wrap up here, uh, what are some goals that you would like to see between now and December for our student ministry? Um, I think one of the, one of the things I've noticed in our student ministry is that uh, we're very, we're very closed in, you know, Mm -hmm. Um, we love hanging out with each other. We have tons of fun hanging out. And when we have worship, when we have praise, when we do our services, when we do, when we listen to our messages in small groups, it's great. But I think the, the only bad thing about keeping good news to yourself is that no one else gets to hear it. Right. You know, and so, um, one of the, one of the trademark qualities of hearing really good news is, it is the is the want and the need to tell people around you. Yes, right. And I think if students truly experience that, then I really do want to uh, encourage them, especially starting this year with the virtual, you know, with all of these uh, bad things and darkness around them, this is the time when your friends need the light. This is the time when, when your friends need Christ more than ever. 
Amen. All right. Good. Well, listen, we're excited about it. And, and folks, listen, Wednesday night, we're encouraging everybody, man, make Wednesday night a big night. Absolutely. Um, we've we've uh, appreciated everybody watching this, but man, we'd love to get everybody back here on uh, this Wednesday night. So John, let me pray over you real quickly, and then we'll get ready to wrap this program up, okay? Father, we thank you for your love. We thank you for your, your calling to us to ministries. And God, I pray for John as, as he leads this uh, student ministry. I pray for Rebecca. God, as, as his wife, his helpmate, that Father, you would just bless both of them with strength and encouragement. And God, continue to burden their hearts for our students. God, we pray for our students. Lord, we understand the situation they're in and how difficult it is. But God, you have called them to be the salt of the earth, just as you've called the adults. And God, as they go to their schools, that God, they could stand strong. And God, that they could take times of opportunity to gather with students uh, in our church to be together, to be encouraging, to be uh, lifted up. That, Father, they could continue to serve you. And God, just continue to bless our, our student ministry, our children's ministry, our preschool ministry, our adult ministries. Everything that we're doing here at First Baptist West, we turn it to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. All right, John, we'll Amen. let you get out from in front of the camera <laughs> to get back behind it where you feel a little more comfortable. Uh, so as we wrap up, I want to very quickly say thank you to all of you for watching us. Also to uh, John for here every Wednesday night to keep this thing going smoothly. He's done a great job. Carrie has been here every Wednesday night. She's not always on the uh, in front of the camera, but she's always here to the side helping us, keeping an eye on things, making sure they go well. Uh, Randy Roper, who again did a great job tonight with the video, and he's done other videos for us and been a part of the program. And so thank you, uh, Randy, as well. And then to the rest of my staff, man, this is a this is all hands on deck, man. When these Wednesday night programs, I I know I hope they look like they're easy to put the, that they're easily put <laughs> together and they run smoothly. But it's kind of tough, and my staff on Wednesdays really helped me uh, get this thing going. And Katie, thank you for being a part of our program and and adding to our our stuff. It's been cool having you, folks. You you've uh, you, you've done a good job. So thank you all. Uh, we hope that you'll now join us on Sunday morning uh, for our live stream at 11 o'clock or in person at 11 and eight or 8.30. And then with our small groups uh, at 9.45. Now remember that the small groups are also uh, with the Zoom. So you can join us with the Zoom as well. And so we're going to have a great time. Thank you for always watching and encouraging us. And we've gotten a lot of comments about how people have enjoyed it. They've enjoyed watching you and, and everything's gone well. So folks, we again want to say thank wait, you wait, for this wait, season. Wait, 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 What? you got to announce if I'm your co-host. Oh, oh, hey folks, uh, you guys have all done a whole lot of... Uh, voting here and, and telling it. You've been reading the comments and and so you've done a great job with everything. So before we close out again, we want to say thank you for joining us and supporting us on Wednesday nights and do Wednesday night starting here next week. So Kaylee, what I have decided to do is I'm going to from this point on start calling you